I did not think that this was gonna be the reason I was gonna cry during this episode. Hey everybody, and welcome to another movie night. I'm Jackie, and today I am watching episode three of The Last of Us. I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of time on an intro right now because if you watched my reactions to episodes one and two, you know just how hooked I am on this show and just how much I don't wanna wait to watch episode three. Especially since I am not a gamer, I know nothing about what's gonna happen, and I am watching this entire show completely blind, so my heart rate is already climbing in anticipation for this. As always, please don't forget to like this video and drop a comment because it really helps me out and I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on the show. Don't forget to check out my Patreon for the full-length reaction to this episode as well as all of my other content. And redder is better, hit what used to be the big red subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get into The Last of Us Episode 3. Oh. oh I was gonna say this seems really tranquil and then I saw bloody knuckles. <laughs> which is a great contrast to how tranquil this looks. Oh, 10 miles west of Boston. Okay, I was gonna say, where's Ellie? Because her name is Ellie, not Veronica. Thank you, all of you who clarified that for me. See, now I'm tense because I'm hearing lovely tranquil music and this lovely serenity and it's a huge contrast to the rest of the world. I'm nervous for an entirely different reason now. You want your jacket back? Hmm, gave her his jacket, taking care of her. Only I've been in the woods. I can understand that. That makes sense. More bugs than I thought. <laughs> That's why I don't go in the woods. I'm not very outdoorsy. Nobody made you or test take me. Nobody made you go along with this plan. So don't blame me for something that isn't my fault. Damn, this girl's more emotionally mature than a lot of people twice her age. Oh, this is so beautifully tranquil. Oh dear. No infected? Not often, no. What are you looking out for? Other things. Slavers and raiders. You know, seeing as it's just the two of us, I was thinking I should no. pro- <laughs> You are not getting a gun. That's some interesting foreshadowing, though. She keeps asking, he keeps denying. It does mean she's gonna get a gun at some point, but I have a bad feeling about it. Is there anything bad in here? Just you. Ah, <laughs> uh, the recurring joke. This is interesting. We get a lot of music when we're out in the wild in the woods, but not so much when we're in any sort of like building or city area. Oh dear. Yep. Silence and ambient noise. Tension again. Uh... Oh no, don't go down there, you... <laughs> what did we say about going rogue and doing dumb shit? Your life is valuable, honey. Okay, now how are you intending to get back out? Ah! There you go. Show don't tell us she's smart. Fuck yeah. That's true. That's an interesting detail to point out. Those would come in handy. Oh god. Ah! Ah! Yep, you got fungus. <sighs> oh jeez. Fungus Christ. He's sentient, isn't he? He's in there. Because you guys mentioned that they're technically alive. And that, oh, oh, uh -huh. Yep, yeah, yeah, they're sentient. Oh! <laughs> Ew! Oh! Ew! Yeah, she's realizing that- <gasps> Let's say she's realizing there's a person in there and Putting him out of his misery, I guess. Makes it mostly useless. Well, if you're just gonna leave it there. No. <laughs> this girl wants a gun. Mmm. They keep bringing it up. Holy shit. Oh, damn. Dude, you got to go up in the sky. It's another great moment of world building. Establishing that she's literally never been on an airplane before. I thought you went to school. Bedra school? You know, teaches how their shitty government failed to prevent a pandemic. Oh! No comment. Some of it got into the food supply. Probably a basic ingredient like flour or sugar. Yep. And cookies, pancakes, and cake. Pancake mix. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. It makes more sense than monkeys. <laughs> Touche. Thanks. I like the long take here. 
You're focused more on his words because you're not being distracted by cuts. What? Oh, here we go. What now? There's stuff up there you shouldn't see. Oh. It's Ellie. Can it hurt me? Psychologically. Whatever it was, I think it's gone. No, don't say that, don't say that, don't say that, don't say that. Oh God, mass grave? Mass grave. Fungus. Oh. Yeah. I told you you were going to a QZ, and you were, if there was room, if there wasn't. Yeah, I stand by my comparison to Schindler's List earlier. There's a lot of parallels to concentration camps, but mass genocide. I kill them. Avoid risk. Dead people can't be infected. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, uh, no, they're gonna show us. Why are they gonna show us? Just break my heart further. Oh, my sweet summer child. This guy Not like a- today, you new world order jackboot fucks. I was gonna say, is this guy like a survivalist or something? Those people that keep bomb shelters in their basements for world disasters? Cause that's the vibe I'm getting here. Oh my Lord. Yup. Gas mask, guns, probably got canned food. See, on the one hand, he looks ridiculous, and he's supposed to in this environment. On the other hand, you know he's not wrong. Perfect idyllic town. Wait! Nick Offerman! I didn't know Nick Offerman was in this! Oh, he's like, now I've got the whole place to myself. Oh my god. The other side, the other experience. <laughs> oh my god. It's just a free for all. It's just a free for Free for him. <laughs> Please make a joke about going through the checkout. <laughs> oh my god, this man is living his best life right now. Like, it's a horrifying contrast to reality, but this man is living his best life. I love that the gun belt, the ammo belt, never leaves. Always there. <laughs> Kitchen garden. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I mean, I have to give him credit. He's prepared. That bubble's gonna pop eventually. <laughs> the contrast of the jerky. It doesn't get old. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Four years later. This guy's just got his own little world. I'm not infected. Oh. Are you armed? Fair question. I feel like I recognize this guy. Wait, is this the hotel manager from the White Lotus? And this is not an Arby's. Well, Arby's didn't have free lunch, it was a restaurant. <laughs> not the point, dude. When was the last time you talked to another human, Nick Offerman? There's physical health and then there's mental health. Is he have running water? Huh? Can I have five more minutes? Sure. <laughs> this is amazing. Say, so most people in this world do not have running water. This is an incredible contrast to the last few episodes. Oh my god, he set the table with Crystal. This man does not have social skills anymore. <laughs> it is Christmas morning for this man. Understandable. <laughs> when was the last time he put a napkin in his lap? What the fuck? <laughs> a man who knows to pair rabbit with a Beaujolais. I know, I don't seem like the type. No. No, you do. This episode is all about contrast and the unexpected. There is more. Not if I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'll be going then. Tick, talk, tick, talk. Wow. You know how much these are worth? Not much anymore. These aren't yours. It's like, no. My mother's. Uh, Could you uh, not? Can you not? Yeah, no. No one at my side. Aww. Oh, the symbolism that there's no one at my side. Those words are hitting too close to home. Love will abide. Hmm. Love's wounds unseen. Hmm. He just showed us he really is a romantic. So, who's the girl? There is no girl. Boy? Man? Yep. 
Yep, it's not a girl. Aww. Aww. I have a horrible feeling that things are gonna go really, 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 really terribly wrong, but this is really sweet. Aww. Nick Offerman can portray vulnerability really, really well. It's a lot of great subtlety. With a girl a long time ago, now, but so I'm gonna start with the simple things. <laughs> this is adorable. I don't have sex for lunches, not even great ones. <laughs> that Arby's quality. So if I do this, I'm gonna stay for a few more days. I don't think Bill is gonna object to that. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, this is such a sweet moment of happiness and I don't trust it for a gosh darn second. Oh. Okay, this is HBO. What are we gonna get here? Am I gonna have to censor this for YouTube? Okay, there we go. Three years later. Oh. Come on. Mm, I was expecting pandemic tragedy, not marital issues. And the government are all Nazis. The government are all Nazis! Well, yeah, now, but not then. <laughs> Yeah, no, a lot of parallels to Nazis and the Holocaust and that in this. Bill, did you say resource management? Oh my god. So help me, I will run through one of your tripwires. <laughs> Modern marital problems. It's how we show love. Just let me love it the way I want to. Love languages. We will never have friends because there are no friends to be had. Well, I've actually been talking to a nice woman on the radio. Ah, yes, there we go. You what? Oh dear. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that Joel and Tess? Are Joel and Tess at a dinner party right now? Joel and Tess are at a dinner party! Oh my goodness! I can get you 10 spools of high tensile aluminum. Last you the rest of your life. Lives. Oh, he said oh that he said that really, really heavily. Lives. He said that really, really heavily. We'll be fine. Mmm, famous last words, famous last words. <sighs> <laughs> oh, strawberries? I traded Joel and Tess one of your guns for a packet of seeds. Aww. Which gun? I'll say he's not going to be happy about that, but... A little one. <laughs> Aww. Domestic bliss. Cheers. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh. This is so sweet. I'm sorry. Mm. Getting older faster than you. Aww. Older means we're still here. Yes. What do they say? Getting old is the worst thing in the world except for the alternative? It's a blessing to denied to most of the people in the world right now. This world. I was never afraid before you showed up. No! Oh. Don't give me happiness in a world like this. Ah. Uh. On the strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, storm, storm, storm. <laughs> Storms mean bad. Always bad. Always bad. Oh, no, no, no. Raiders, raiders, raiders. No. <gasps> oh, got flamethrowers. Oh, I love how they're lighting this. Oh, the show uses darkness and light so well. Ugh. Oh, this music is interesting. It's like a scraping sound almost. Oh, the pulse. Yep, pulse. Yeah, trademarks for this show. The pulse music, rain, tapping, ambient noise. Ugh. for you. No. You can't be here alone. I'm not alone. No. Uh. He'll take care of you. I think this is a misdirect. <gasps> no. No. <gasps> no. No. Uh. Mm. Oh my god. 
God. <sighs> oh. Okay. Oh. I was right. It was a misdirect. <sighs> oh. Oh. Oh, their life together. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh. Oh, does he have, like, not Parkinson's, or he has some sort of condition? They're growing old together. <laughs> On the one hand, I really wanted to die from natural causes because that's just tragic in some way, but oh god, I don't know, I don't even know, I don't even know. He has a sippy cup! Oh my god, he has a sippy cup! Should take your pills? Oh no. <clears throat> this old married couple! Big roundy. They're so cute. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, please tell me he's not gonna die in his sleep. No, 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 no. Oh no, oh no. Ah. Oh my god. Oh. Back in I bed. I promise you I'm gonna stay up. Why? Because this is my last day. There wasn't anything to cure this before the world fell apart. What does he have? Bill. Bill. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not going to give you the every day was a wonderful gift from God speech. I've <laughs> had a lot of bad days. <laughs> but I've had more good days with you than with anyone else. <laughs> Just give me one more good day. Starting now, make me some toast. Then take me to the boutique where I'll pick outfits for us. <laughs> we'll get married. Aww. Then you will crush all of these up, put them in my wine. I will drink it. <sighs> then you will take me by my hand, bring me to our bed, <laughs> and I will fall asleep in your arms. I can't. Do you love me? Yes. Then love me the way I want you to. Oh. That line came back from earlier. I did not think that this was gonna be the reason I was gonna cry during this episode. Like, I know this show is gonna make me cry a lot, but I did not expect this. <laughs> the hole he first fell into. shot exactly the same way as their first their first lunch <laughs> you knows what to pair with it he's not drinking out of he's not drinking out of a sippy cup he gets to drink out of a wine glass He wants to go with dignity. <laughs> oh. 
and the music's gone. In this episode, the music was tranquil and beautiful and positive and now it's gone and it's just... God, this is drawing out every single second. God, this reminds me of episode one when they were telling the little kid, we'll get you your favorite toys and your favorite meal before you die. Like, champ. Oh. <laughs> he needs a, he needs to chug a glass of wine for a completely different reason. Why are there already pills in the bottle? Enough to kill a horse. Oh my God, are they gonna this die together? This isn't the tragic suicide <gasps> at the end of the play. I'm old. I'm satisfied. <gasps> And you were my purpose. I do not support this. <laughs> Too late now. But from an objective point of view, <laughs> it's incredibly romantic. <laughs> Because it's happy. I mean, it's it's not happy. It's just they're at peace. They're content. And <sighs> is that it? Oh, that would have been a hell of a moment to end the episode on. <laughs> track of the date did this how long ago did that happen oh the flowers are dead oh the candles burned out god the detail in this show the symbolism my god his last painting of his husband what if they're gone they'd never leave he knows they'd never leave Oh, yeah, it's all still there. Oh. oh my god, the plastic bag! The same as episode one. God, the little plastic bags, they just keep bringing back all the little details. Oh. oh, I don't want him to see them. I don't want him to see them like that. Oh, oh good, they locked the door. To whomever, but probably Joel. <laughs> So good. The dust on the table, the set design. God, the details in this show. God, I'm trying to give you guys some sort of analysis, but I'm just sobbing right now. If you find this, please do not come into the bedroom. Yeah. I'm guessing you found this, Joel, because anyone else would have been electrocuted or blown up by one <laughs> Take anything you need. Anyway, I never liked you, but still. It's like we're friends. <laughs> I used to hate the world, and I was happy when everyone died. Oh. But I was wrong, because there was one person worth saving. That's what I did. I saved him. Oh. Then I protected him. That's what he has to do with Ellie. That's why men like you and me are here. We have a job to do. And God help any motherfuckers who stand in the way. <laughs> Use them to keep... Tess. Tess. Use them to keep Tess safe. Yeah, oh my god. Stay here. Oh my god, does he need it? He needs a minute to himself. Yep, 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 oh. He 
just get a car battery, he got a car and all the supplies he could need. My god, they're like they're like fairy godmothers. There it is. It's fairy godmothers. Oh my god. I have a brother out in Wyoming. He's in some kind of trouble and I'm heading out there to find him. He used to be a firefly. Mm. My guess is he knows where some of them are out there. Maybe they can get you to wherever this lab is. Now there we go. Two birds, one stone. Rule one, you don't bring up Tess ever. That's... Rule two, you don't yeah. tell anyone about your condition. Yeah. Rule three, you do what I say when I say it. Those are fair rules. What you say goes. Well sum up. Sur sum sum Good summary. Well summarized. <laughs> Yeah. Yep, that is an appropriate response. This guy was a genius. <laughs> if you didn't reset the countdown every few weeks, this playlist would run over the radio. Mm. 80s. That's where the music came from. Oh, that's where the music came from. God, it just came full circle. God, the writing is so good. It just came full circle. There's a wall of them. <laughs> you still don't get one. You don't get one. Toilet paper! <laughs> the details! They have hot water! <laughs> I'm taking a shower. And then you're showering. Ha! Seriously. Subtle. <laughs> I guarantee you don't smell much better, honey. But I appreciate your humor. What did she find? A gun? Oh my god, she found a gun! Yes! I knew it! I knew she was gonna get one one way or another. Oh, she's gonna take it and she's gonna hide it because it's a little one. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, called it. Foreshadowing. Well, don't you look pretty? <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing humor after just sobbing my eyes out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that was really well done. It's like a spaceship. <laughs> seatbelt. She doesn't even know what a seatbelt is. <laughs> oh, thank God for the humor in this episode. Thank you so, so, so much for the humor right now. Oh, I needed humor. Put it back. Ellie. You didn't say anything about playing music. That was not one of your rules. Leave it. Oh, this is good. This is Linda Ronstadt. <laughs> You know I don't know who Linda Ronson is. You will now. It's better than nothing. <laughs> music because it's hopeful again. We're getting music because it's hopeful. Oh, I love this shot through the open window. It's like they're watching Joel and Ellie. It's like they're watching them go. They're looking out for them. It's Bill and Frank. Yeah, shooting through the window like this. It's like they're looking out for Joel and Ellie. They're watching them go, keeping an eye on them. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. <laughs> I am very much not okay right now. I can honestly say that was the last thing I expected going into this episode. I I should have known this show was gonna continue to surprise me. This show is so forking good, my God. I, I didn't think this show could get any better. I really didn't. I didn't think the writers could outdo themselves and they did, oh my God. <laughs> but after the last two episodes, I was just, I had no idea, I had no idea. They brought this in at the perfect time because you get two episodes that feel very continuous. Like I watched episode one and two back to back and to me they kind of work as one episode because they, they're a continuous storyline. And to break that up with episode three and break up this really, really harsh, horrible, traumatic world with something like this. I, had, I saw a couple people in the comments saying something about episode three or something that's gonna make me cry. And I did not expect it to be this. God. This is so good. I can't get over how good this show is. My God. Oh, I've got nothing else to say. I have nothing else to say except that I'm probably going to turn off the camera and just go sob for another hour because, my God. This show is so good. God, now I don't know what to expect next week. I have literally no clue. This show has completely thrown me for a loop. I have no idea what to expect. 
Okay, all right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go because I'm just gonna start crying again and I so 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 appreciate that they brought comedy in at the end there because my god. So I just finished filming a few minutes ago and and as if I haven't cried enough tonight, I just found out about Annie Wershing and for those of you who don't know, I'm assuming you do since most of you watching are gamers here, but she was the voice actress for Tess in The Last of Us and and she just passed away from cancer and just the the really tragic irony of her passing away right after Tess died on the show. I just Because I haven't cried enough tonight. Anyway, I just, I wanted to include a shout out in this. I wanted to, since I, I believe this episode is gonna be dedicated to her, they're adding it. May she rest in peace. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for all of your incredible work. And I don't know, I just, rest in peace.